Hello everyone. Today we shall look into a situation where we could update the text card based upon the selection. If I don't select anything, you could see that I could enter the text please select brand. If I select any single uh, brand, here you could see that it will uh, change the text card into the single selection and it will mention the name. If I select multiple things, here you could see that multiple things are selected and the respective values are updated. So let us understand how to make it possible. Here I'll uh, remove this text card and uh, we have brought this brand column from the sales table here. If I select the slicer, this is my slicer where I have selected the brand column. Let us open the measure table and uh, let us create a new measure in order to understand how it works. Here let us understand initially how, how selected value function works. I'll write selection equal to here I'll write selected value in the column name I'll provide sales brand comma if at all any alternate if at all multiple values are selected I would like to give the alternate result as uh, more than one okay this is my alternative result if at all more than one brand is selected, it will show the respective more than one condition. Okay, this is a simple selected value function which I have written. Let us uh, get into the get it into the text card and see how it works. I'll go to home. I'll select the text card. Here I'll select this text card. And in this text card, we shall bring in the measure which we have written selection. Okay, now here you could see that. It, it, it has mentioned more than one because we have uh, not selected anything. Suppose that if we select apple, here it will show the apple. If we select multiple things, it will show more than one. So you could understand that if at all anything is not selected, it will show me the other condition which is alternate result. For now, uh, let us understand how we could implement the required condition for us. What I'll do is I'll write if condition if in the logical test I'll write the I'll use this is filtered function which which returns true when there are direct filters acted on the specified column. Our specified column is the sales brand column. If at all my brand column is being filtered, what I have to do is I have to provide this selected uh, value measure and uh, else I could uh, you know. I, I could provide any other condition and close the parenthesis. Okay, for here I didn't uh, provide any other condition. So I could even remove this comma after that. Now this condition, it works similarly. Suppose that if I select one uh, particular value, it will show me the one particular value. If I select multiple things, it will show more than one. If I don't select anything, it will show me blank. Right? If it is not uh, you know, selected, we can give the false condition such as please select brand okay this is our false condition where we have mentioned if nothing is selected we could mention that please select brand let us see if it is working or not okay here you could see that since there is nothing being selected you could see that please select brand if i select it here you could see that you know single values are you know it is showing perfectly fine if I select multiple things, since I have more than one mentioned in the alternative result of selection, you know, selected value measure or function, so it will uh, show me the respective values. Now, suppose that I'll make it little more better working. Sup suppose in the true condition, if I could use another if condition, and here I want to check when the sales brand column is filtered, I would like to check if it has one value or not if it has one value for the sales brand column now what i want to do is i have to concatenate i'll concatenate i'll write single i'll put something like this uh, colon and i'll put a comma because concatenate function takes two parameters okay here i'll remove this since i am concatenating it and uh, if at all I select multiple things, this is the selection if it has only one, uh, one value being selected. If at all I have multiple selections, what I could do is I could concatenate 
uh, you know use the concatenate x function in the table i can use this values function for brand comma i'll in the expression i will use the sales brand delimiter i'll put a comma for now and i could further order by expression if i wanted i'll close the parenthesis here i'll close the if condition here you could notice that okay this these two conditions i'll uh, put little forward now you could see that if my brand column is filtered okay if it is a true condition in the true condition what i have mentioned is if it has one value then concatenate this single uh, value with the selected value of the brand otherwise what you could do is you could concatenate okay multiple i'll put the colon and i'll put a comma in the multiple condition here you could see that i have used the concatenate x function and i have just concatenated the brand values using the delimiter comma i'll close the parenthesis for concatenate here i have closed the parenthesis for uh, if condition i'll put a comma here this is my false condition if nothing is selected i hope this condition is properly uh, you know understood i'll just commit and let us see how it works in our text card here you could see that if multiple things are selected you, it could show the concatenate x function being working properly if at all i select you know don't select anything you could see that it is mentioning please select brand if at all i click in on any one thing it will show me the single and the brand name right this is what we have expected as output you could select multiple values and it will update it you know as soon as you select okay to accommodate the size you could make the formatting settings and uh, whether you want to stretch it or you know whether you want to make it big or small okay this is all for now please practice Thank you for watching and we shall meet in the next video.